Hi guys, welcome back to Bailey's Barn. I'm Shelly and this is Penny and this is our first episode of Cooking with Penny. And today we are going to teach you how to make chocolate covered strawberries. But they're just not your average chocolate covered strawberries. They are gourmet. As most of you don't know, before we moved to the country three years ago to start a hobby farm, I owned a business called Berry Boutique. We delivered gourmet chocolate covered strawberries all over the GTA. And I did it for somewhere between 10 and 12 years. I was a full fledged business for about 10 years, started in our home in our basement and grew from there. So my goal is to teach you guys how to make my strawberries at home. They're really not as hard as I made them look like they are. There's just a couple of little things that you have to follow. So the chocolate that I used was called Calibo Belgian Chocolate. And you can get it at Bulk Barn in Canada. We are in Canada, so I'm not quite sure about the rest of the world. But Calibo is from Belgium, so it should be available wherever you live. But, um, so I used Calibo Belgian Chocolate. It is real chocolate, so it is a little trickier to melt than some of the candy chocolates. So I used the Calibo with the milk in the dark. Now with the white, I used the Merkins candy chocolate. White chocolate is difficult. And I went through a lot of white chocolate over the years. I threw a lot of it in the garbage, learning how to properly melt white chocolate. And I found that using the candy one just worked better. And there really wasn't that much difference in the taste. And really, I use white more for decoration than the actual chocolate on the berries. So this one worked best for me. But with the melting all three of them, you still have to be very careful with moisture. Most people like to melt with a double boiler. I found with a double boiler, there was still chances of getting moisture in my chocolate, which affected the consistency of it. So I always melt it in the microwave. And the trick to use in the microwave is that you just have to go slow and steady. I went no more than 30 second increments and it totally depended on the size of the bowl of chocolate. For a bowl this size, I would start at 30 seconds. It's probably going to take me about two minutes to melt each bowl. 30 seconds, stir, 30 seconds, stir, and continue on until it's at a good consistency for dipping. And I'm going to go melt this. My microwave is over there, so I'm gonna go melt it. So give me two, four, six minutes, and I will be right back. All our chocolate is melted, and this is, <laughs> what do you think, Penny? Do you wanna try some chocolate? Mm -hmm. I don't think Penny should eat chocolate, but you can help me make it. You can have some of the strawberry tops when we're done. And this is about how you want all of your chocolate to be. Nice and smooth and flowy. That's going to coat the berries really well. Now, I got my nice big berries. My favorite place to buy strawberries is from Costco. They usually have the best price. And this time of year, the berries are a really nice size. I will tell you a little secret with buying strawberries because I've bought many. You want the you want the wax paper? Does wax paper look like it'll be yummy? Um, best times of the year to buy strawberries when you get the biggest, most beautiful strawberries are usually from February, March, and April, and then October, no September, October, and November. Those six months of the year, you get the biggest, prettiest strawberries. Worst two months of the year is July because they are it's so hot out that by the time they get to you they're close to already rotten and December which was always my busiest month of the year and strawberries are so hard in December I mean first of all it's hard to get them because if anything goes wrong with the weather strawberries don't arrive and then when you do get them they tend to be much smaller the quality is just not what they are like right now it's only the beginning of february but already the berries are getting big and beautiful these are like my favorite berries to dip like you can see by the size of my hand these are really nice sized berries so now in a berry boutique box 
this box would come with 16 berries. So I'm going to make, I'm going to recreate for you the exact box that was a most popular purchase for me. So we would have 16 berries. 4, 8, 12, 16. Yes. So we need 16 berries. I would put the eight largest berries on top because these ones are going to be just dipped. These are big berries. I'm going to have a hard time fitting all of these in the box. But we'll tell them to suck in and we'll do it. Two, four, six, seven. Ooh. Here, eight. Okay. So this is my strategic. When we put the toppings on, it makes them bigger. So we have to use the smaller berries. You know what? We might, on the tray, for the tray's sake, we might have to just go. Because these berries are big. These are like, in my opinion, the perfect berries you can get. Now I go to the next size berries and then my four smallest ones. The four smallest ones are going to be my double dippers. Okay, and there's still a few berries left for you, Penny. So this is how I'm going to do it. Now, in a berry boutique box, we had the first four. The first eight are going to be just dipped in chocolate. The next eight are going to have toppings as well. So with the, just the chocolate, Four of them are milk chocolate because milk chocolate. Let me just and I put the chocolate right up to the top and I scrape the bottom so that we don't get puddles because presentation is extremely important to me. My berries, every single berry was hand dipped and hand swirled. There was none of this bulk swirling. Every swirl was perfect. I used to always say to myself, I wanted every single berry I sent out to be good enough for Oprah. <laughs> so that someday, if Oprah ever happened to eat one of my strawberries without me knowing it, I knew it would be perfect. Um, and then the next two are going to be dark. And we scrape the bottom. And then the next two, they're so pretty. God, sometimes I still miss this. I still go into stores and I see packages of big, beautiful strawberries and they excite me so much. It's like, oh my God, they're perfect strawberries for chocolate dipped strawberries. So now the last two are dipped in white, but these are not finished yet. This is just the first layer. And we scrape the bottom. Now I will tell you a little story about when I first started. I started this kind of unintentionally. And I started it in November. And in January, I got a call from Breakfast TV, which was a local TV news station in the mornings, very popular. And they wanted me to come on before Valentine's Day. So it was our first Valentine's Day. We didn't even have an official website at that point. Um, so it was like, we went on breakfast TV. I think it was the 10th, maybe it was the 8th of February. It was about a little more than a week or right around a week before Valentine's Day. And we had to get the first website up before we went on. And so we went on breakfast TV on the 8th. I think it was the 8th. And then we got absolutely crucified that Valentine's Day. We basically, between myself, my husband, and my kids, we were up for 36 hours straight. We got a huge snowstorm that Valentine's Day, of course, and it was crazy. Um, I don't even know how many strawberries we dipped or delivered. But everything from that Valentine's Day went into creating the next website, which was a much nicer website. I think over my 10 years, I ended up with four different websites where they kept getting better and better and better. Okay, so back to our berries. Next, we're going to do, the, these four are going to be dipped in the cookies and the score. So in the cookies, I like the I really like the look of the white chocolate with cookies. So 
so and I just like to just kind of dip it a little bit oh my chocolate is going to drip a bit but that's okay because the chocolate dips into the cookies and makes these little yummy morsels so we put two cookies in one is dipped in white and the other one is dipped in milk Penny you're not helping at all Penny is supposed to be my assistant and she's like laying down on the job over there okay so we got two of those and now we do four score because score these are like little toffee bits and these are most people's favorite they're not my favorite but they're most people's i will tell you coming up what is my favorite so scrape the chocolate because we don't want them dripping too much and then roll in the score oh these are so good even though the score is not my favorite they're still really good so i do two of them with milk chocolate and then i do one of them and i go literally go work my way down in the size of the berries because the last two are what i call double dippers so i use the smallest berries for them and in my opinion, when it comes to a chocolate covered strawberry, you can never have too much chocolate. Oh, isn't this pretty? We're not even done yet. They could go up just like this. Okay, now the next two. These are my favorite. They're both, they're both dipped in milk. One of them is gonna get rolled in Rice Krispies and the other one is gonna get rolled in coconut. Coconut's my favorite. But Rice Krispie, I think, is probably the favorite amongst most people in my house. I don't know. Carrie's our camera guy. What's your favorite? Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies? By far. So. Followed by coconut. Followed by coconut. So this one will, Carrie can put his name on. And then the last one is coconut. Now, these are actually drying pretty good. Now at this point, Depending on how they're drying, a lot depends on the temperature of your home. I might pop them in the fridge for a couple of minutes and let them chill, but not too long, just like a minute or two. I don't want the chocolate to get hard. Um, I just want it to enough that you can handle it for the next layer, but I'll show you. This is what they look like so far. So this is how they are so far, and they're not done yet. They're already super pretty, and they're not done. They're going to get even prettier. Okay. Oh my God, I hope someday my grandkids get to all taste these and know what these taste like. And even though it was only a decade of my life, I like to think that I put my heart and soul into that decade and that they in get enjoyed for years to come. Okay, I think I can put the second layer on these without refrigeration. I think they're set enough. So. Now, this is my thing, is I swirl every single strawberry individually because I want my swirls to be perfect. Now, the swirls look harder than they are. I just, I let it drip. And then I basically just run it over the strawberry. And you get this perfect little swirl berry with a little, 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 little dip. And you like perfect looking. So I do two one with dark chocolate swirls i do two with white because i really like the contrast look of the white and the milk so i need to do two of them with milk and then the last milk chocolate it's still a bit goopy but that's okay it'll set oh my my stem feels like it's getting weak and then that one is double milk. So it's a milk swirl on a milk chocolate berry because you can never have too much chocolate. And now my dark chocolate one, I have two of them. So I'm, I want a contrast. So I want to do, unless people specify, because did you know dark chocolate never contains milk? So if you are lactose intolerant, anybody that's lactose intolerant will know this, but if you, are not lactose intolerant or maybe you're new to it dark chocolate is the way to go and you could do all of these using just dark chocolate and then it's great for anybody that's lactose intolerant look at how pretty that is 
And then, you know what? Yes, they're already trickled more of the white. The white ones are still pretty wet, so I think I can do this. So with the white one, I'm going to put the milk on it. And then you take your skewer. I don't have my glasses on, so let me see if I can do this. And you just very lightly pull it with the skewer. It's not coming out. My white chocolate is a little bit too set, but I still got some nice little designs there. And then the other one, I'm going to swirl with dark chocolate. Now my cookies and my scores are complete the way they are, but my double dippers now, after they set for a bit, we re-dip them. <laughs> this is like sinful. One time I actually did try to figure out how many calories are in one of my chocolate covered strawberries. They say the average chocolate covered strawberry is about 45 calories, I think is the average. I, don't, I think ours would probably come in closer to 100 because we are very generous with the chocolate. But you know what? It's Valentine's Day. It's chocolate covered strawberries. So this is why we don't do chocolate covered strawberries anymore. Why Berry Boutique doesn't exist. Because we have way too many pets. And nobody wants cat hair in their chocolate covered strawberries. So this is what they are going to look like complete. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop them in the fridge for just about, he's okay, just about two minutes. Just enough to set the chocolate. Like I said, I don't want the chocolate to go hard. And my goal was always to deliver the chocolate dipped strawberries before they ever hit a fridge. I want, when people bite into them, I want their teeth to sink into the chocolate without the chocolate cracking. And the refrigerator makes the chocolate so hard that it cracks. So ideally, you want to eat these before they're refrigerated. But a minute or two will just help, especially with the double dippers. The double dippers, that the chocolate is so thick that you really can't package them until you give them a little bit of refrigeration just to help set it. But like really, like two, maybe three minutes. I'll keep a close eye on them and I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you how we package them too. All my strawberries are set. They're still gonna be really moist and, and the chocolate is still going to be really creamy, but just the outer layer gets a little bit of the set so that we can package them. Now, the boxes that I packaged in, I bought at Creative Bag. They're just a white, hard setup box and I think this box cost me about $4 at Creative Bag, which again, we're in Canada, so I'm not quite sure, but how big is this box? This box is like eight and a half by eight and, eight and, eight and, a, half. Half by eight and a half so inches and then two inches deep. Yeah. This is what we always used. So this helps our 16 berries. So red tissue paper, I used to buy sheets of red tissue paper, so I didn't have any of these wrinkles in them, but for the video, I had to buy the sheets like a thousand at a time, so I didn't want to buy a thousand. So I fold it in half, try to wrinkle out the, and then I give it another little lip, and that's important. And then I put the tissue paper in lip side down. And then we've got our little cups, and again, it's very particular how you lay them out, because I do a berry without topping and then uh, I, I rotate them. So a milk chocolate berry goes first and then we put a topping berry and
him fit. We made him fit. And this is what our finished product looks like. So then you close over your tissue and they meet in the middle and we've got a little card here that you put your own little I love you. XOXO. And you tuck it right into your little crease there. And then you put your top on. Add a little ribbon. And you've got probably about four pounds. So you got two pounds of strawberries in here, and you probably have about two pounds of chocolate in here. So when the person you love opens them up, this is what they see. And is that not the most beautiful box of chocolate-covered strawberries that you would ever imagine?